The funny part is we need to know what we want. This is true. And I think that is a very good point. We often forget what we want. And I think this is where it's so important to return to your mission statement or even a vision board or some sort of thing. I love journaling. And I think with journaling, you just write down like, you know, even just right at the top, what do I really want? Question mark. And just write for 20 minutes on answering that question. Because we forget. We forget periodically. We, we we might have an idea. We might have a plan. And then we, we start singing and we start training singing. We start doing Instagram. And then we forget why we're even doing it. So if we don't have a why, it just becomes lost in all the other things that we're doing. And then it gets swept under the rug. And then it doesn't have that priority anymore. It goes on the back burner. So it's so important to to return to why you're doing it. You're right. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to make myself a why poster. Yes. Six months. See, this sort of six months gives me a little bit of anxiety. Yeah. So, that's good. Yeah. And then it's and then it's going to be managing the anxiety to make sure I don't end up with those freaking dopamine habits, doom scrolling or well, other distraction things that I do. So, so I was sort of jamming yesterday and it was getting good. And then I faffed around trying to plug something like get something self recorded. And I ended up scrolling. Yeah. I was like, I was in a flow and then I like disappeared down the black hole of doom scrolling. And it just, anyway, maybe I've, okay, I've nearly yeah. got a handle on it. Okay. It's, but that's, that's or like okay, going and eating but... chocolate. Suddenly look, I'm excited. I'll get up and I'll go and eat chocolate. And then I've broken the flow. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> you could, you just got to find a way to put a limit on it. So you're allowed to have some doom scrolling moment as long as it doesn't exceed you know, six minutes or something, let's say. If... Yeah, no, I'm, that's literally, I'm going to do the focus. There's, there is some, I can do that. You can yeah. focus, you can, you can limit it. Can't you? I looked at it and went, oh, that's complicated. Oh, there's a so... button. Exactly. There is actually, there's a setting where you can make sure that you don't do that. And I think you can do it at certain times of day. So maybe, you know, with your, if you're in a creative session, that's really useful because yeah, you might just catch yourself out and then do some, something else attention goes on to something else and then um, mm -hmm. and then we're scrolling for a bit and then it'll just shut down <laughs> which is the most annoying thing but you did it to yourself yeah this, yeah, this anxiety point is a, also a really important thing to know that we actually need a little bit of anxiety obviously we don't want too much we don't want to be a nervous wreck but like Tony Robbins says that actually it's one of the six most important things for actually getting anything done is actually to be just a little bit afraid. You can't be too comfortable. Okay. If you're comfortable, then you won't get it done. So when we say like six months, yeah, it goes like, oh yeah, what, six months? Oh wow, I've got to actually do something, haven't I? Yeah, that's actually not as long as I thought. I was thinking like five or 10 years, maybe 20 years away, I might do this gig. I think ago. somewhere you're right, like somewhere in the back, it's like, yeah, it's in the flow decades and you're like yeah. no it's got to be now it's got to yeah. be now like anything could happen we want to light a fire under your ass a little bit we all isn't it interesting how we fill the time we're given so if we think it's going to take five years we will fill it with with so that it takes five years if we think it's going to take a month we're going to fill it so that it takes a month and I think yes. the, the thought is, the belief is deeper than the thought. Sometimes we think we can do it in a month, but maybe we don't believe we can do it in a month. If we believed we can, that's what's really important. It's like they say, yeah. how big, how, it, the analogy is like, how big is your wardrobe? So if you have a, a small wardrobe, you're going to fill it. If you have a big wardrobe, it doesn't matter how many clothes you've got, you're going to fill it as well. So it doesn't matter how big it is, they're never going to fit. <laughs> But yeah, I think yeah. Ivana, you were talking a while ago about like, yeah, how to how to get something done in a much faster time than you think. Yeah, this is calling the time collapse that yeah. you you imagine whatever you're doing within like Hannah said, six months, imagine you must do within a month. Just imagine, because life depending on that. You cannot do any longer than a month time. What would you do then? 
You don't have a time for scrolling. Just do it. Yeah. Whatever it takes. And this is the one of the experience when the Tony doing, and he said, he's just setting you different level that when you're talking to people and when he said, okay, you just like first level, or you just try to present your product to people. Like you just like talking, whatever, and meeting people. And you're talking to some people which you don't know. This is the second level. I can't remember exactly how it was. And you're saying to the person who actually, you know, your family or somebody else must to have the help within short period of time. And you must to sell the product because this is only the way you can help them. And you, uh, you risk their life if you don't sell the product. The energy was skyrocket. And people were just like... Uh, putting you know life on like the energy was just like in a whole room everybody was just trying pushing so hard to sell the product just to imagine that this was not real just to imagine yourself you must to sell because your life or somebody else you really deeply care about life depend on that just how you sell the product I think oh my god that when you start to change this perception how you're selling yourself whatever you're selling and the time schedule the time collapsing is different, like you said. You just a kind of shorten the time. Just imagine yourself. Just imagine everything what you're doing. Shorten the time.